The stranded Boeing astronauts are getting in more and more trouble as the days go on now with some mysterious noises being heard around their craft. Just before we continue with this video, you may have noticed that the daily uploads have well not been so daily. That's because I have moved all of the daily upload videos and alien and paranormal updates over to another YouTube channel called Simply Unknown. There will be a link in the pinned comment and down in the description. Be sure to go over there if you want to, you know, you're missing your daily dose of paranormal and uh, alien updates from around the UFO sphere because they are still continuing, just not on this channel. I wanted to dedicate a bit more time to the videos, go through a bit more, you know, in-depth topics and kind of cover things in a bit more of a in-depth way. Whereas over on that channel, obviously everything is up to date. So yeah, like I say, down in the description, simply unknown. Be sure to go and check it out. Back to the video. So today we are going to dive into the insane story of two astronauts, Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams, who are currently stuck in space. Yep, they're not coming home anytime soon. The mission went a little sideways and now they're hearing some very strange noises from their spacecraft. I'm going to break down the full story for you, why they're up there, the technical glitches that have gone on and what Boeing are currently dealing with and what is going to come next. So. To begin with, the Boeing Starliner mission. Let's start with the mission itself. On June 5th, 2024, NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams launched aboard Boeing Starliner spacecraft as part of its crucial crew flight test. The goal? To prove that Starliner is capable of ferrying astronauts to and from the ISS, otherwise known as the International Space Station. This was supposed to be the final test before Boeing could officially join SpaceX on providing regular rides to orbit. Things were going smoothly at first, they docked with the ISS without any major technical difficulties, but then the trouble started brewing. While still docked at the ISS, the Starliner encountered problems with its propulsion system. The spacecraft developed helium leaks and a few of its reaction control thrusters weren't firing properly. Now, in a normal situation, they try to troubleshoot, patch things up, and then send the astronauts back home in their own spacecraft. But because of the combined issues with both the leaks and the thrusters, NASA decided it was too risky to send Wilmore and Williams back to Earth aboard the Starliner. So what they did was they changed plans dramatically. So to put it into layman's terms, this is like calling up a space Uber. And then the space Uber breaks down. So you're like, okay, what do I do now? And then the Uber driver's like, don't worry, I'm just going to phone someone else to come and get you. Oh yeah, what's the wait time on that? Don't worry about it. It's on its way. You know, it'll get to you eventually. So now they are on an extended stay and they could be stuck until 2025. So as a result of these malfunctions, the astronauts are now stranded on the ISS until early 2025. And it's looking like it's most likely going to be February. They'll be brought back aboard the SpaceX Dragon capsule during NASA's SpaceX Crew-9 mission, which of course is going to be a huge stinker for Boeing because SpaceX and Elon Musk are their biggest competitors fighting for a contract to try and get people aboard the ISS, which, <laughs> for, but they're Boeing, it's not looking too great right now. But let's break this down. They're expected to stay aboard the ISS for a total of at least 240 days. That is eight months. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is this a record? Well, not quite. Astronauts typically spend six months on the ISS, so Wilmot and Williams' extended stay is unusual, but it's far from unprecedented. The current record for the most consecutive days in space is held by NASA's Frank Rubio, who spent 371 consecutive days in space, surpassing the initial plan due to a damaged Russian Soyuz capsule. So Wilmore and Williams will have some company on the ISS continuing important research and maintenance activities. But imagine being told that you're going on a mission um, that was going to last a couple of months and then being formed, oops, we'll see you next year. That's going to spin your head, right? It wouldn't mind. But to make this whole situation just a little bit more unnerving, the astronauts over on the ISS, more specifically the stranded astronauts, have been hearing some very strange noises outside of their capsule. And this has got the internet buzzing. Now, there are some things that's starting to get a little bit creepy. So shortly after their extended stay was confirmed, Wilmore reported hearing a strange pulsing noise coming from the Starliner. He described it as though it was coming through the spacecraft speakers. And understandably, he 
he was hugely concerned. Yeah, I would be too. I mean, you're floating 250 miles above Earth and you hear something that sounds off. That's not night fit. That's some nightmare fuel right there, right? But before we go jump into conclusions about space aliens and trying to make contact, NASA has apparently classified the situation and the noise was coming from a quirk within the communication system between the ISS and the Starliner. It's basically an audio feedback due to the complex network of the interconnecting spacecraft communication channels. I mean, it's a great thing that that's just a technical issue. I mean, if I'm stuck in space and I start hearing some tapping from around the uh, containers, you know for a fact that I'm hitting that eject button and I'm just going to take my chances out in space rather than sitting in there. I've watched Martian. That's not fun. So the big question on everyone's lips is what comes next for the Starliner? So what happens to Starliner now? Well, it's not totally abandoned. It's going to undock from the ISS and return to Earth empty in early September. But it's still a huge blow for Boeing. The spacecraft's issues have delayed its configuration process for future missions and also the certification process. And with SpaceX's Dragon successfully ferrying astronauts regularly, Boeing's got some serious catching up to do. Meanwhile, Wilmore and Williams are playing the waiting game. They're still conducting critical research aboard the ISS for medical studies on how space affects human biology to testing new technologies for the space exploration, but their most important job is staying sane until their ride shows up. NASA and Boeing are working to resolve the Starliner's issues, but until then, Wilmore and Williams will have to tough it out. So yeah. Here's hoping that SpaceX is in good in-flight movies because, I mean, eight months up there, just stuck, just chilling, trying to pass time, has got to be one of the most tedious things. Yeah, sure, they've got jobs to do, but, you know, it's just probably them dead-end jobs that the other astronauts up on the ISS just don't want to have to manage, and, you know, they're like the water boys. They just get pied off because they're not up there for that kind of job. They were just there to be ferried up there just to say oh, we had a good time. I mean, I'd be fuming. So to conclude all of this, that's where we stand right now. Boeing Starliner mission has hit some roadblocks, but with SpaceX's crew Dragon standing by, Wilmore and Williams will make it home safely. For now, they're making history in the process. This just goes to show you, in space, nothing is ever straightforward. But I will be sure to keep you guys updated on the whole situation as, we, as it tends to unfold. But at the time of recording, that's kind of it. They are stuck up there until at least 2025. There is some weird knocking going on around the space station, but in typical NASA fashion, they have decided that it is a communication issue. At least that's what they're telling us. Um, and yeah, they're going to just send the Starliner back unmanned. I mean, imagine just sending your ride off. It's like sending your car on autopilot and then watching it just disappear. I wouldn't be too happy about it. But what do you guys think on the whole situation? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll speak to you later. Peace.